But anyway, as we got started with everything, I was told that some of the games will be sitting, some of them will be standing. So first off, we were standing and I got the actual PlayStation VR onto my head and uh, there was like adjustment sort of thing. And you can actually wear glasses with this thing, which is awesome. I know some VR systems don't allow that, but this one actually allows it. You can have glasses and you adjust it from the back, from the front. There are a couple of different ways you can do that. But then we actually got into our first game, which was not really a game, but more of an experience. It's a kind of good way to really start the experience of VR with the PlayStation VR because it's not jumping straight into something. It's kind of calm and basically it was called The Deep. I believe that's what it was called. It was like this underwater thing. You're in like a shark cage, you know those cages where you're put in and you go underwater and there's like all these fish and everything like that. So first off I see like this cool turtle. I'm like, oh that's a cool turtle, you know, turtle, whatever. I look around, I, I can look around, move around everything in this little cage. I think it was like a couple of meters by a couple of meters and uh, basically I was looking up, down, left, right, behind me, everywhere. It's full, full immersion. Now, as we got lower, because the actual cage was descending, um, basically what I noticed is we started seeing some jellyfish and different sort of creatures. It got a little darker because you could no longer be towards the surface of the water because we were descending, as I said. Now, on top of that, we went even lower into the ocean. So that was really cool because it got darker and then we were like under these rocks and all of a sudden this great white shark appears and I'm like, like, oh my goodness and this is a few minutes into this because after a few minutes you really start getting immersed and forgetting that you're not actually just standing in a room that you kind of feel like you've got like snorkel goggles on or something on and you're really experiencing that you're underwater even though you don't feel like you're floating in water it's a very interesting feeling I guess now what was really awesome with the great white shark is I was first like ah, he can't do anything on this but then eventually the shark just started ripping off one of the sides of the cage and I was like, oh my goodness. And eventually he ripped off the whole thing and I actually started to get a little worried. I knew it wasn't real, but even though it wasn't real, it's still one of those feelings like, this shark could kill me at any moment right now. And then eventually, I'm not gonna say what happens, but it gets really, really good. So that was one experience. That was called, I think, as I said, The Deep. I'm not 100% certain on that, but uh, yeah, it was a really, really cool experience, but not really a game, but the next thing was a game. It was known as the London Heist Getaway. So we're basically in a car and this time around I'm actually sitting down in a chair and I'm actually holding move controllers on top of just wearing the VR headset. So essentially what I'm saying is I'm sitting in a chair in real life. I'm sitting in a chair and I've got two move controllers and the VR headset. But in the virtual reality world of things, in the game, I'm in a moving car on a highway and I've actually like, I'm actually able to pick up stuff and get a gun eventually and all this stuff. And it's a really, really cool experience. And the thing is, unlike the deep, it's actually a proper game where you're doing stuff. So I'm using the move controllers to pick stuff up. I can like open the door as we're moving down the highway, throw like soft drink cans, things like that. And eventually we start getting like these enemies just driving behind us, in front of us, to the side of us, all that, we're surrounded. So he gives me like an Uzi SMG, the driver does, cause I'm in the passenger seat. And I pick that up and I actually have to like put ammo in with the move controller into the bottom of the other move controller. But to me, in my virtual state, I'm actually seeing an Uzi in my hand and I'm like putting ammo clips into it and shooting these bad guys on their motorbikes and their vans, all this stuff. And like them landing on the windshield of the car is just like completely awesome. And I forget that I'm actually not in this world. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Even though the graphics aren't like 110% realistic, it's because you're actually surrounded, you're looking around and there's not just looking at a TV that it feels real eventually, which is just amazing. It's just one of those things you really, really need to experience that makes it that much better. But anyway, moving from a crazy game that utilized move controllers, shooting and all this stuff, to something more a little realistic, I guess. And that was the final game that I played where I was standing up yet again and I had no controllers this time. It's just me standing up, except the VR headset itself was a controller now. So it would track that by using the PlayStation Eye camera, tracking you just as it always does. But this time around, what it did essentially was you were a player on a soccer pitch and there was a goal in front of you and it would shoot like um, soccer balls right at your head and you'd have to like header them into the goal. 
So you'd actually have to like lean back and use a proper heading motion. It would kind of teach you to do that. And then you'd have to hit targets similar to like FIFA trials and drills and things that you do in like trial games or whatever they're called. So yeah, you were basically like training to head of the ball into a goal and it felt real because I played this one, I think the longest and basically at the end of it, I felt weird taking the headset off. I was like, whoa, I completely forgot that I was in this room. Like, I don't know what it is. I felt maybe because it was a proper soccer pitch, you know, it wasn't crazy like you were in a car or you were underwater. I think it was because I was standing there and I completely forgot that I wasn't actually on that pitch heading, heading the ball and all that stuff. Overall, I thought it was really, really fun and it was a really rewarding experience when you head the ball and hit the target that you're meant to hit. You're like, oh, I want to do this again and again, you know? That's that, guys. I got to play these games. I thought they were all really awesome. I know some of them weren't really games, they were more experiences and I guess that's what you get in this early build and that's the thing that PlayStation told me is that it's still very early. The things coming out in like October there isn't even a set date from what I believe so yeah it's still far away but it's creeping up on us but yeah I'm excited to see where PlayStation does take its virtual reality experiences and games um, it's gonna be a crazy year for VR in general so if you have any questions regarding this leave them in the comments down below I'm